This is the rumor report. Sometimes you say stuff and it's just gonna get you in trouble. On the Breakfast Club. Whatever. She don't know my business. I know hers. All right, let's go, Porsche. What we got? All right, so. Now, like I said, he finally addresses it. It's been like a whole year. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe y'all can still hear the slap now. I can. Jesus. Um, now, uh, Chris spoke about Will uh, and the slap and all that. He basically even called him like a Suge Smith. Like, listen to this. I have rooted for... Y'all know what happened to me. Getting smacked by Suge Smith. <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> Everybody fucking knows. Yes. It happened. I got smacked like a year ago. F***ing last week, I got smacked at the f***ing Oscars by this mother. And people like, did it hurt? It still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I got summertime ringing in my ears. <laughs> Drums, please. But I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. Never gonna happen. I couldn't believe it, and I love men in black. No, <laughs> it's never gonna happen. F that sh took that hit like Pacquiao. <laughs> so, I mean, what do y'all think about this? Now, I saw a couple comments mm -hmm. because, you know, I live um, up the Instagram. Right. And they were just saying, like, why is he still talking about it? It's a whole year later. If I got slapped like that and I didn't get my lick back, it could be 10 years later. It's content. And, and I'm going to talk about it. Absolutely. And not only that, he got paid off of it. You know what I mean? He got paid for that Netflix special. Exactly. So why just, you know, get on social media and do a rant? Why get on a podcast no. and do yeah. a rant when you right can way. just wait a year and drop a special? I told y'all he was going to do that last year. That's what a real comedian should do. Yep. And he really held it because y'all know he went right on tour right after that. Mm -hmm. He didn't talk about it. So mm -hmm. he made money in the meantime. Mm -hmm. He waited for the big check. There you yeah, go. he's been out. I've seen that. I've seen that set uh, two two times prior. Well, he was working it out. To the stand up special. Yeah, yeah, he was working it out. I saw, for it, I saw it last summer at the Garden and last month uh, in North Charleston. Mm -hmm. Well, well, it is what it is. Now he continued on um, and basically said that Will was taking out his anger on him that he really had for Jada. Listen, Will Smith practices selective outrage. Because everybody knows what the f happened. Everybody that really knows, knows I had nothing to do with that. I didn't have any entanglements. Ooh. I did. I did not have any entanglement. And then for people that don't know what everybody knows, Will, his wife was f***ing her son's oh. friend. I normally <laughs> oh. would not talk about this. But for some reason, these put that on the internet. We all been cheated on. Everybody in here have been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. None of us. It's like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's How did that make you feel? Jesus. That's a hell of a question. Did she ask him that? I don't remember no, that question. She didn't ask him that. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I was but gonna, he heard that. I was going to ask, so... <laughs> How did he reply to that? To comedians don't have to say allegedly. What do you mean? Because during the special, he was saying some things. I'm like, damn it. He, you just don't... Say no, it. they're not journalists. They're comedians. That's yeah. that's what it is. Oh, it's I supposed to it. be free space to say what you want, and it is what it is. You laugh or not. Yeah, and, I you, love yeah, it. and everybody's fully aware that it's a, 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 a bit in a stand-up special. That we would be we would be getting to a real strange place if folks started suing people for what they said in stand-up specials. Yeah, come they, on, man. They sued stuff for what you say people on the radio, regardless. That's and, different, though. I think radio is different. Than I'm just asking, I, but I feel you though know, because even though it is comedy. When he said that part about F and his son's friend, mm -hmm. I felt that. Like, he, he he was making it funny, but <laughs> right. he meant that. He wanted <laughs> right. that to sting Will when he said that again. Even even when he said something about OJ, he was like, OJ's a murderer. I'm like, yeeks. Well, yeah. no, I don't think you can say that. <laughs> he definitely said it. Oh, you can't say that? that? Yes. Now you got to say allegedly. You got to say allegedly. You get found guilty of murder? Yes. Mm. Oh. All right. What else we got? Well, I'm this sure is good. He, he can't sue him no more for that. All right. So anyway, and he even mentioned y'all. Did y'all hear that part? Mm -hmm. Or y'all had selective hearing. Here you go. <laughs> Everybody in the world called him a bitch. I tried to call the mother <laughs> give him my condolences. He ain't pick up for me. Everybody called that man a bitch. Charlemagne called him a bitch. The Breakfast Club called him a bitch. And the View and the Talk and every rapper and, and the Drink Champs called him a <laughs> Everybody. And who's he hit? Me. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I enjoyed the special, man. It was good. The only thing I hated is that the Will Smith slap stuff overpowered all the other great stuff he said in that special. Like, the, the conversation about Meghan Markle and oh, the royal that. family. Oh, we got that. We got that. Play, play, stuff wait, about but the, did you call him a bitch? Hold on now. You just... No, I, I, don't, I don't remember calling Will Smith oh. a bitch. I know we had some thoughts about the Red Table Talk, but I didn't call I him think, the B-word. I don't think oh, he called okay. him a bitch. What's interesting is I heard, uh, I heard Chris Rock do that set last month right, right? Mm-hmm. at the North Charleston Coliseum in Charleston mm-hmm. and he did that bit and you know he did the shout outs then right and mm-hmm. I was sitting there thinking like should I correct him but nope. then I was like nah he got his special next month that's so why I gotta make this he might shout me out in the special that's right drop a bomb so, so, <laughs> drop a bomb I was thinking about correcting him when I heard no. it last month like you know I never I'm called what's never be but I think nah I'm gonna let that one go let's let it go that might make the special Damn, it, Mama, and, it, and it made, made the it. special now people were mad about the Meghan Markle thing that you just mentioned why? Everything he said was accurate. Meghan Markle. Some of that shit she went through was not racism. It was just some in-law shit. <laughs> no, Oprah, they're so racist. They wanted to know how brown the baby was going to be. That's not racist. Because even <laughs> black people want to know how brown the baby going to be. <laughs> we check behind them ears. <laughs> That's a scientific test. Cause you gotta see what kind of black child you gonna get. Is this a Steph Curry baby? Or a Draymond Green baby? Oh, oh my God. Hilarious. And, and I hope that Chris Rock was also taping that special over the past year, because I wanna see it like, you know, produced as an actual special. Live was cool, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? But there's a different type of rhythm when you watch a produced stand-up special. So I wanna see that material produced in that way. Mm. He forgot the knuckles though. I'm sorry, because we do check the ear, but we also check the, <laughs> oh, the knuckles. knuckles. If, the, if the ears is cool, we ain't, we still ain't convinced. We're going to check, check the, the knuckles. What are we looking for when we do that? I mean, not me, you know, because, you know, I'll take my baby however, but, yeah. you know, we want to see where the crisp is. Where's the crisp? Where's the crisp? Yes, normally on the creases. So we had to check them knuckles and see what the baby going to be. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. <laughs> Portia Williams is here. She's our co-host this week. And uh, when we come back, Angela Rye will be joining us. we got front page news. She'll fill us in what's going on out there in the world. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.